2022 would be the year that Suzuki would try to reclaim the title that they had lost in 2021, with a new engine that would give them those vital extra horses down the straight, while keeping the sweet handling nature of the chassis, everything was looking rosy for the Hamamatsu factory heading in to the season. kicked off with a solid start, a pair of top 7 finishes for both Rins and Mir getting them off the marks, but it was perhaps a little underwhelming considering the pre-season potential. However, things would be on the up in Argentina, with Rins coming home in a hard-fought third place, his first podium since the 2021 British GP, and followed home by Mir in fourth. Those good times kept rolling in at Kota as Rin snatched second from Ducati's Jack Miller on the final lap while Mir took another fourth place finish as MotoGP left to head back to Europe. Suzuki were in a rich vein of form. As Rin was back to his brilliant best of late 2020 and 2019 and Mir was slowly building up the consistent campaign as he did in his title winning season. But then, it all came crashing down. Mir was taken out by Jack Miller while in podium contention at Portimao as Rins had a disastrous qualifying starting 23rd but produced one of the most breathtaking starts in history to eventually come home in 4th. A 6th place for Mir was the best Suzuki could do at Jerez as Rins had an almighty save at the fast turn 11. The MotoGP team stayed behind for a post-race test but as the shutters came down and everyone was packing up the news broke out that would send shockwaves throughout the MotoGP paddock. Breaking news that's taken us all by surprise on the build-up to this weekend. Confirmed by Suzuki today that they are in discussions with Dorna to end their participation in the championship come the end of 2022. They're in discussions now to end their participation in MotoGP at the end of 2022, which puts obviously a number of great men and women who work for that team in a state of flux. But Joamir and Alex Rins, of course, suddenly, as they pointed out yesterday, are on the market for next year. The team that had took Maverick Vinales, Alex Rins and Joan Mir to their first MotoGP wins and won the 2020 title with Mir were pulling out at the end of the season. It was a move that no one could have foreseen. To the team's immense credit, they powered through, but the repercussions were clear to see. What everyone needed were some good results, but unfortunately, the decision was followed by a double DNF for both Mir and Rins, but a storming ride from 17th on the grid to 4th at the flag in Catalonia for Mir gave Suzuki hope once again, but it was short-lived, as Mir would follow up that result with a lowly 8th in Assen. Rins, on the other hand, was forced to miss the German GP thanks to a wrist injury he suffered due to being caught up in a lap 1 incident triggered by Takaki Nakagami. As the MotoGP paddock went into the summer break, the situation at Suzuki was looking bleak. The team that were looking so promising at the opening four races were now stuck in a rut in which they couldn't get out of. However, with any break comes a time to rest and reset and that's exactly what the Suzuki team needed. Alex Rins looked like a new rider, fighting fit again he was on top form at Silverstone, leading the race and looking a good bet for the win until rear tyre issues dropped him back to 7th. Strong rides over the next 3 races saw Rins claim multiple top 9 finishes. Things weren't going so well though on Muir's side of the garage. A late crash in Silverstone was followed up with a lap 1 high side at the Red Bull ring which put the 2020 champ out of action until Australia. Drafting in Suzuki test riders Kazuki Watanabe and Takeo Suda and two-time MotoGP race winner and all-round good guy Danilo Petrucci for the Thai GP. The twilight of Suzuki's MotoGP tenure was fast approaching. 
and it looked as though they might leave the paddock with a whimper, but in true Suzuki fashion, they weren't going out without at least one last memorable moment of greatness. 6th of October, Phillip Island, Australia. May go down as an all-time classic. From lights out, there were lead changes and lunges and close but top draw racing. As the race entered its final lap, there was less than a second separating seven riders. All of them could win. Alex Rins took his chance at Siberia and swooped past Bagnaya, and from then on had to hold off eight-time champion Mark Marquez, which he did to perfection, scoring his and Suzuki's first win since 2020, and doing so with such a cool and calculated ride. There wasn't a dry eye in the house, as Suzuki had scaled the toughest emotional mountain that's what we thought. The finale at Valencia and it was time for the Suzuki team to celebrate all they had achieved together since returning in 2015. Six race wins, 37 podiums and a Raiders and Teams World Championship. But their story wasn't quite over. Alex Rins would give the team the perfect send off as he charged from fifth to take the lead into turn one and he never looked back commanding the race as he crossed the line to claim his fifth MotoGP victory and more importantly giving the Suzuki team with which he had worked with since his debut in 2017 the ultimate parting gift. As the podium Prosecco sprayed and tears of joy were shed everyone reminisced of the many memorable moments Suzuki had given us in their eight seasons back in MotoGP and as the Hamamatsu factory rolled off into the sunset they left a legacy of being the ultimate underdogs that took on and beat the absolute best on their swan song. If you like this video, click here and here for more.